Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So in this video, we're going to show you our latest deadlift workout. But rather than talk about our workout, we're going to give you guys tips on how to improve your deadlift. So the first tip is focusing on your hip height. Um, typically when people start out deadlifting, they have a tendency to keep their hips way too high. And what that does is put you in a weak position where you tend to round your back. And that could lead to injury. So once you go through your first little... Um, injury scare the tendency then is to overcompensate and squat too low and start with your hips too low rather than too high and what that does is turns the deadlift into more of a squat you're not going to be as strong because you're using too much leg involvement and that's no good either so what you need to do is find a hip height in between both of those and the best way to do that is through trial and error and while doing trial and error what you should do is take a video of yourself at an angle like the one that you're watching right now on the screen and show people who know what they're talking about you can post it for me I'll be happy to take a look at your form and let you know how it looks and by doing trial and error watching your form you'll find the proper hip height for you and by doing that you'll be at a, the strongest position possible to really get your deadlift to go up so you definitely don't want to be like parallel to the ground because I used to do that a lot and for a long time I didn't even realize that I was like overcompensating and yeah of course my strength wasn't going up because of it so moving on another tip that has been very useful in improving that lets for me for example is keeping the bar as close to your shins as possible now as you can see here Adam has like shin guards because well the bar is heavy and he normally scrapes his legs so that's like a little bit of leg protection right there but also it is important to keep it closer to your shins because you want to keep the bar um, going up in a straight path in order to be strong and avoid arching your back so take a look here it goes up up pretty straight like you don't see it moving forward you don't see it moving back the bar stays in the same path if you have it forward you are basically arching your back and like it I don't know it doesn't like yeah, you're going to be at your good. strong <laughs> the, the closer the bar is to your body the stronger you will be and it's not going to feel good if you have it too far away so if you keep it too far away you'll be weaker and you'll also be more susceptible to injury but keep in mind you don't need to have bloody shins every time you deadlift for no. it to be effective everybody's different for me the most comfortable is unfortunately scraping my shins but i do see people like paula for example the bar is not necessarily scraping her shins but she's still keeping it as close to her body whereas you can see the bar path is completely fine so it's just gonna, a little bruise on my legs <laughs> so it's going to vary from fine. person to person uh, where you keep the bar but the important thing is to keep it as close as possible because that's where you'll be your strongest and that's where you won't get injured as easily um here you just saw paula she wasn't happy that she only got four reps at 165 yeah. so she tried it again and she got actually it was because the bar like i didn't place it correctly and it was a bit uncomfortable and my grip was like slipping even though i was wearing the straps but you know i went for it again because i knew i had more to go and here's the final result and now another thing um, to keep in mind is when you deadlift, you should do what they call pulling the slack out of the bar. And what that means is when you walk up to the bar, you don't just go up and grip it and rip it. You kind of have to pull on the bar before you actually engage the rest of your body to lift it off the ground. You'll see in my next set before it's, it might be difficult to see, but before I actually try to lift up the weight first, just with my hands, I pull up on the bar. This way, when I start um, using my hips and start engaging everything else, I'm already using momentum to pull the bar up. So I'm not lifting a dead weight off the ground. I'm kind of giving myself an advantage um, that gives me a head start pulling it off the ground. It's difficult to explain, but I'll kind of, I'll show you when I do it in my next set. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss, people ask me all the time whether they should deadlift on back day or leg day. And the answer to that question is it depends on your goals and it depends on the routine that you're on. Before I finish that, I just want to show you here about pulling the slack out of the bar. So watch carefully. I'm putting my straps on right now before I begin. And it's only going to be about a split second. But before I actually do my first rep, I kind of pull, you'll see me pull up on the bar and then actually try to start the rep. So here I go. Okay. I'm about to go. You see me pull up right here. I'm pulling right and now I'm going. Yeah. It's very quick, but basically you pull up on the bar first before you start your rep. And that makes it so the bar is easier to pick up off the ground um, rather than just again? trying to pull up dead weight. Now going back to the back day or leg day. Exactly. So that deadlifts 
didn't really hit your whole body. They could hit your back or they could hit your legs. Conventional deadlifts like we're doing here, that's more for your back. So if you're going to do deadlifts on back day, you should do conventional deadlifts. However, deadlifts can also be a great exercise for your leg day. But if you're going to do them on leg day, I wouldn't do conventional deadlifts. I would probably do a stiff leg deadlift or a Romanian deadlift, something that targets your glutes and your hamstrings more than your back. So here, right now, I'm trying to really hit my back. Um, that's kind of the focus of this. Um, but if you watch some of our other videos, Paula does stiff leg deadlifts on leg day where she's not trying to hit her back at all. She's trying to hit her glutes and hamstrings. So the answer of whether you should do it on back day or leg day is do it on both. Do conventional deadlifts on back day and do stiff leg deadlifts on leg day. In this case for me, I do deadlifts on leg day because it actually fits perfectly fine on my routine. It wouldn't really flow well on my upper body or really back day. So, you know, it always depends on what you're training for and the routine that you're on so yeah so this is come the video is coming to an end if you like the video like the video subscribe to the channel and, and we'll, we'll see you in the, the next one, one.